talk to us a little bit about your personal favorite go-to healthy foods? My go-to healthy snack is raw almonds. In fact, I travel with them wherever I go, so I just had some. I keep a little baggie of them in my purse, and I compare it with some blueberries for a snack or a little bit of cheese, and it can be you know, a makeshift dinner. So I think raw almonds are my go-to. Good answer. So I know you have a lot of kids. Is it four girls? Yes. Um, how have you been able to get them involved? What advice do you have for parents that really want their kids to start eating healthy and cooking healthy? Well, you know, I, I do have four kids. There are four girls. They're seven, six, five, and five. So they're in that picky zone. So a couple of things that we do. One is I take them into the produce aisle whenever I can to go shopping, and I let them have free reign in the produce aisle. You know, they may not eat everything that they touch, but they are touching it and are experiencing it and learning about it. And of course, there's a greater chance that they'll eat it. But you know, I really focus on developing the long-term healthy relationship with the food. So I always have two vegetables on our dinner table so the kids can choose. You know, do you want peas or do you want kale? Um, I try to rotate out so there are sort of interesting foods there just to take the mystery out of it. And I focus more on them spending quality time with the vegetables and healthy foods than really how much they choke down. And you know, and bit by bit, they do, they do kind of come around and, and get, become adventurous eaters. Cool. Um, what would you suggest as a uh, flavor booster that you know, doesn't really have too many calories or isn't detrimental to your health? Hmm, flavor. For things that may seem bland for kids, what would you suggest adding to them? Hmm, well, kids like bland food. <laughs> so so I'm a, I feel like with my kids, I'm usually taking away the flavor and like, you know, making a version that's a little bit more, you know, mild to their palates. Kids, you know, their um, kids' taste buds, um, they sense a lot of flavors more strongly than do adults, which is why sometimes they don't like the cruciferous broccoli or whatever, because their taste buds are actually different. So with kids, I'm usually trying to find ways to meet them where their taste buds are, make things a little bit milder or whatever. Okay, um, moving on to a totally different type of question. I, I know you faced you know, some adversity in your life, and um, so how has health and wellness been able to play a role in your life? I mean, are there foods that you stick by or is there a regimen that's really helped you, you know, be so positive? Well, you, you are a positive role model for so many people. For sure, how I eat has so much to do with how I feel. And I've just learned over the years what foods make me feel good, what foods don't. One of the things that I always try to do is before the morning is out, I try to have some live raw vegetables, just the enzymes in them, even if I just juice or if I put kale in a smoothie or what, you know, sometimes it'll be a handful of carrots, even in the morning, you know, with my coffee. I, if I can just get some live, you know, raw vegetables in some way into my diet in the morning, that is a huge mood booster and energy booster, for sure. Um, how do you think uh, we can combat the uh, obesity epidemic in our country? But, you know, they, they're, that's, that's a pretty loaded question, right? The, you know, the obesity di epidemic, you know, there's so many underlying causes. But I can tell you this, as a mom of four, you know, I really focus on my kids understanding and celebrating what different foods bring to the table. So for us, for instance, at the dinner table, one of my children will present the meal every night. And they'll say, okay, well, we're having, you know, chicken piccata with lemon, or we're having, you know, a kale salad. And we present the meal, they also talk very briefly about what the benefits are of each of the items. The chicken is giving us protein. That builds our muscles. You know, the kale salad is bringing us vitamins. That's going to help us grow and, you know, keep us from getting sick. Very basic stuff, but it helps them understand that there's a benefit and that there's a feel-good element to eating healthy food. So, you know, that's just one small thing that we can do. Okay. Uh, let's talk about you and your book um, and any other projects that you have going on. Could you talk to us a little bit about that? Right, so $10 Dinners, my cookbook, just came out a month or so ago. $10 Dinners, my cookbook, just recently came out, and it's been on the New York Times bestseller list, so that's been very exciting. Um, although it's you know thrilling to have the book out, I'm already working on book two. So I'm, I'm busy writing that one, and I'm about to go in to shoot Drop Five Pounds with Good Housekeeping. That airs on Cooking Channel, so that'll be season two of that show. So, and that's 
that's pretty much keeping me busy and out of trouble for the next few months. Hi, I'm Melissa D. Arabian. Check out Curiosity.com.